Okay, so I've been looking for a constant current source. So I got these LM334Z. I got six of them for eight dollars right there. So here we have it on the breadboard. So I have these two jumpers here for a couple reasons, but uh, we're looking at the flat side now. It looks like a transistor. It's not a transistor though, but it's in the TO92 packaging. So flat side is facing us right now. This is the V plus pin, that's the R pin, and that's the V negative pin. So the V plus, we're just going to plug right into the positive rail now. So I have this out here because we program this with a resistor. So that's a 100 ohm resistor. We will use a 1000 ohm resistor first. So anyways, we uh, showed that there. So I'm going to take the 1000 ohm resistor, plug it to the middle pin, and then to this jumper, which goes to the other pin. We could just put the pins right next to each other, but uh, especially with uh, this resistor with the bigger pins and stuff that uh, cost more money, I, I don't want to do that. So I just put this jumper there, so we can put that side there, and then come back to that pin. That's all we have to do to uh, to program this. Get a resistor. So this is a one kilo ohm resistor. So I got the meter set to measure milliamps. Two milliamp range. We're going to stay below two milliamps. The uh, data sheet says this goes up to ten milliamps, but uh, we're going to keep it below two milliamps for this video. Make sure you read the data sheet for this. And we got the meter in the milliamp plug there and uh, get the probes there you go so whether there's a load or not as long as the load doesn't dissipate too much power we should get about uh, 0 0.067 milliamps with a 1 kilo ohm resistor and so I will add a load and uh, to show that it doesn't matter. So this is a 100 ohm resistor now. So the current's got to flow through that. Plus our reading. I could have just stuck it down here. In fact, that would have been easier. But uh, there you go. The same current. And we can uh, do that that way too. This is much easier. Get the red jumper back to the uh, top pin. Of the component there there you go and lost my connection there but there you can see same current even when we go through the resistor on the negative side so we'll take a closer look at that we we're at that pin there and we also put a resistor to the uh, top pin over there and uh, doesn't matter as long as it doesn't dissipate too much power we're dealing with the 5 volt power supply you have more flexibility with the higher uh, power supply so we had 0 0.068 volts as we just saw we'll remove that resistor now and put in the 100 ohm so that was a 10 kilo ohm resistor this is a 100 ohm resistor we got it to the middle pin and then connected there and uh, so we're going to expect 10 times the current we should have about 0.68 milliamps now and there you can see 0.6 so in the range of about uh, 0.68 about 10 percent or uh, 10 times I should say the current so now I also have this resistor so this is a 100 ohm resistor this is a 47 ohm resistor so first resistor we used was 1k one we have right there is 100 so 1 tenth the resistance allows 10 times the current so we'll get about 10 times the current now we're going to drop that in half I don't really have a good packaging but this is 47 ohms about 50 ohms half of what we just used and we had about uh, 0 0.6 milliamps according to the meter so there we go one side to the middle pin there are the other side here which jumps to the V negative pin 
and there you can see we have about twice the current that we did before and uh, that's how you program this and again we can put uh, resistors in the way and uh, I better just use the 100 ohm resistor and now we'll see that uh, we still have about the 1.2 milliamps of current so it's a good current source it keeps the current going at a constant rate under varying conditions as long as you don't exceed the power if we take too high a value of resistor then that's going to block it based on the voltage we'd have to use a higher voltage but uh, as long as you stay within the uh, power limits of the circuit you'll get a steady current with this component.